So I ran into this problem recently where I was updating a branch on my repo, I went to go push it, and after pushing it, it basically prompted me to log in again. And from this, I basically put in my username, I put in my password, uh, I log in, it says login failed. From here, I again put in my username, which is correct. I then put in my password, which is also correct. Uh, and as you'll see in a second, this also fails. Uh, and this basically will give you a documentation link, some information. Short and narrow of this is, is that GitHub eventually updated their terms of service to no longer include password and username for authentication. You have to use something called a personal access token. And also, something to keep in mind is that the reason why you're seeing this issue, why I'm seeing this issue on my Windows PC, is because of the fact that my Windows credential for GitHub got deleted. So this problem is basically pretty much two things. I need to A, authenticate with a personal access token, and then B, I need to basically have my Windows credentials set up properly in order to access my GitHub from the terminal. Now, if you have a Mac, I actually found the Stack Overflow post that kind of gives a little bit of information pretty well. Um, so I'd recommend looking at that, uh, and I'll include that in the description as well as the contents of it. But right now, let's go ahead and walk through what we need to do. We basically need to get a personal access token and then add it to Windows, and then we should be good. So from GitHub, you want to go ahead and click on your avatar and go to Settings. From Settings, you want to scroll all the way down to Developer Settings. So from Developer Settings, you want to click on something that says Personal Access Tokens. Now, as you can see here, I already made a token. Uh, you can basically choose the generic information for what it can do. Mine basically just has all of the repo actions as well as the workflow. And to be honest, I don't remember creating this token. So maybe I just copy pasted it from there. Maybe it was automatically updated. But the point is, if you don't have a token, generate a new token. Uh, if you'd like, you could copy paste what I did here. It's literally just all the repo actions uh, as well as workflow. Just and that's pretty much it. Um, but because I already have a token, I can regenerate it. Now, regenerating it basically will make the last token irrelevant. You can put whatever um, expiration you want. Usually, 90 days sounds like a good idea. I'm going to do 7 days because after this video, I'm going to, you know, make a new one anyway. Uh, so, let's go ahead and copy this. Uh, and after copying it, we want to go over to our Windows uh, Credential Center. And in Windows Credential Center, we need to create a generic uh, credential. So right here where it says Add cred uh, Generic Credential, you want to go ahead and click that. And after clicking that, you want to put the password as that access token. So this password right here is that access token that we copied. Th this is the password. Um, for username, you want to put your GitHub username, whatever your username may be. And then for internet or network access, you want to put um, uh, Git and then right here, git colon httpsgithub.com. So let's go back and let's put that. And these are the three things that you need in order to create this generic credential. You click OK. And then after clicking OK, you should be able to go back to your terminal. And when you click git push, it should no longer give you the error message. For my case, I already pushed it, so nothing was really needed to be done. But as you can see, I now have the access to pull, push, etc., etc. So when you're doing this, uh, I recommend you go ahead and you look at your Windows Credential Center and say, hey, you know, do you have a Git-based uh, credential? Uh, if you have a Git-based credential, all you really need to do is change the password. The password, instead of it being your, you know, regular uh, password, it should be the personal access token. Uh, and then from there you can update it or you can create a generic uh, credential like I did. Um, that's what solved my problem. I'll include the Stack Overflow post if there's any other um, extra things. You can check this out, but that pretty much solved my problem.